part two. And the suburban is fit to recover all or to be completely restored. We are taking our text from Mark 5, 25 to 34. Mark 5, 25 to 34. And I'm also declining, and it has come to my heart, that before this year ends, God will locate you with a miracle. You will have the greatest miracle you ever desire before this year ends, in Jesus' name. Mark 5, 25 to 34. And a sadie woman which had an issue of blood 12 years, and I've suffered many things of many physicians, and I've spent all that she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be made whole. And straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, who touched me? My clothes. And the disciples said unto him, Thou said the multitude thronging thee, and said, Thou who touched me? And he looked around about to see how he had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing that knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her daughter, Thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Mark 5, 25, 34, KJV. Mark 5, 25, 34, KJV. We have been speaking of what lesson because divine encounter, this one we do, is to bring out Bible verses, Bible texts, and make them come alive to us by hearing, listening to the lessons so that it can be applied to our lives. That's all this is about. It's meant to inspire us, to liberate us, and to empower us. Last week, the one we did is on, my, on our Facebook and YouTube channel, okay? So you can check it out from there. Now, just a brief, we said last week that there are so many people in our world, like this woman, that has several issues, different issues, family issues, marital issues, health issues, financial issues, different issues. Now, what lesson can we learn part in part two? What lesson can we learn? Let's go. So the, the survey is faith to recover all, faith to be restored. Now, the unpleasant issues we go through in life. Those unpleasant issues, like, like this woman, they said she had an issue, an issue with the, uh, an issue of blood. So that's an issue, a situation. Now the unpleasant issues we go through in life may lead to losses. I'll say it again. Some of the unpleasant issues we go through in life may lead to losses. It can be loss of income. It can be loss of finances. It can be loss of possessions, of property. Some people have to sell their possessions and their properties so that they can be healed, to, to pay for medical bills. It can be loss of friends. Some people, don't, some, because they are of their heads, some friends will have to separate from them. It can be, this might also lead to regression, going down. It can lead to stagnation, to retrogression or backwardness in life. These issues sometimes will fail in life. Listen to the account the Bible gave about this woman in Mark chapter 5, 26. Mark 5, 26. The Bible says, and had suffered many things for many physicians. She had spent all she had and was not better, but grew worse. In other words, instead of her to progress, she was retrogressing. She was going down. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every issue in your life that is making you to go down, to experience losses, shall stop today in Jesus' name. I take the name of Jesus, the name higher than every name, the name of which every knee bow, and I decree that in the name of Jesus, every issue, unpleasant situation, that is making you to experience losses, painful losses. It can be loss of income, loss of finances, loss of position. Every issue that is making you record the loss is coming to an end, and we are putting an end to it right now in Jesus' name. You will not regress anymore in Jesus' name. Now, you will find out that the moment this woman had an encounter with Jesus, 
she was still. You will find out as we keep, keep following me. Do you know that through faith, whatever you might have lost, Jesus can restore? I say it again. Do you know that through faith, if you just believe, that through faith, whatever you have lost, that Jesus can restore? Do you know your heads can be restored? I'm not talking of tomorrow, I'm talking of right now. Don't take this as a joke. Don't say, look, look, this is what they're talking about. I want to talk him. I was a Muslim. I keep saying this because I never had an idea that one day I'll become a pastor. And I've seen, I've seen tremendous work, move of God. I've seen miracles. I've seen things that convinced me 100% that Christianity is real. So we tend to make it real because of what I've seen. You will be a witness to me of what you have seen and heard. We have seen and we have heard. I want to make it real to you too. Do you know your career lost as a result of sickness can be restored? Do you know your possessions lost as a result of an issue, an unpleasant issue in your life can be restored? Listen to what the Bible says in Jeremiah 30, 17. Jeremiah 30, 17. I will restore health to you, to you. You watch him. God will restore health to you. And I will heal your wounds. Says the Lord. Jesus is speaking to you. I will restore health to you. I see your health restored. In the name of Jesus. I see your finances restored. I see your marriage restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, is it possible, Pastor? Man of God, will I is this possible? We went to minister in a place called Nottingham in the United Kingdom some years back. As we are entering the city, my wife had a vision, saw a man standing with hands, a huge man standing with hands tied behind him, big demon. So we went to that city, God showed us the demon over that city, and we prayed and got into the city. Now we did the program we went for. And a woman was in that program. And the woman came and we, told us about her husband that they are separated them, that is, their marriage is, they can't reconcile. So it's, it's over. So do you know what? We came back to London after the program. About a month, we got a call, a strange call. And the woman said, I have reconciled back with my husband. Just today, today, somebody was saying, I never imagined I will ever speak about reconciling with my husband again. He said, I have closed that chapter. He said, I heard the person was speaking to my wife. He said, I heard your husband's voice and something changed in my heart. He said, something moved my heart. That's somebody testifying to my wife today. In the name of Jesus, the God who saved me out of his land, it will restore your health. It will restore your marriage. It will restore your finances. Have you lost your joy? Your joy will be restored. I say, say the, the theme is faith to be healed, something faith to be restored, to recover all. What you have lost to the devil by faith in Jesus' name will be restored to you. You will take it back. You will have it back. I want you to jump on your faith and say, I take back my health. Say, say stand on your feet and I say, I take back my health. I take back my marriage. I take back my finances. I take back my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to Joel chapter 2, 25. It's also the Bible. Joel 20, uh, chapter 2, verse 25. The only Bible. It says, so I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the tree locust, my great army which I sent among you. He says, so whatever their name, whether they are powers, whether they are principalities, whether they are rulers of darkness, whether they are demons, whether it's sickness, whether it's pain, whatever that the enemy has used an issue, an event to take from your life, so then God will restore in Jesus' name. Whatever that the wicked has taken out of your life that is causing you pain and sorrow, it shall be reversed and it shall be restored in Jesus' name. Let me bring it into a practical example from the Bible. There is a story in 2 Kings 5, 1 to 19. 2 Kings 5, 1 to 19. The Bible spoke of a man called Naaman, a general. 
This guy, the Bible spoke about beautiful things about him. But the Bible said, but he was a leper. So they, they, they bought in your life. God is about to delete it. And he will delete it today in Jesus' name. They said he was a man of valor, a strong man, this, that. But they said, but he was a leper. <laughs> but a day came that they had an encounter with an anointed man of God called Elisha. And that was the end of the leprosy. When you see 2 Kings 5 14, 2 Kings 5 14, the Bible said God restored his, his skin back to him like a child. In other words, God restored, God did a creative miracle in his life. Restore him like a child, you will be restored. In the name of Jesus, your home will be restored. Your marriage will be restored in the name of Jesus. Your health will be restored in the name of Jesus. Your spirit will be restored. Your business will be restored in Jesus' name. No matter what has gone on in the pandemic, no matter what you have lost, I decree we, it will be restored. Our nation will be restored in Jesus' name. Tonight, we just had the good news that the bill, a, a deal has been struck with the EU. Good news, the United Kingdom will be restored. Africa, starting from Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and every nation in Africa and Europe and America and Asia, there shall be divine restoration in Jesus' name. Now, I want to close this. You see, I have, an issue, I have a story. This is a true story. Jesus can restore you instantly. Immediately, recently, I laid my hands on a extremely hot bunny burner. Extremely hot burner. I didn't know it was it's been on. So I laid my fingers on it, my five fingers. On my fingers, we are anointing oil because I've just done some anointing stuff. So the oil was on my finger. When I lay my finger on the burner, it got stuck. It's like, like that you are frying something. I screamed because it was painful. So when I was able to remove my finger, to see the way my finger were, I, I look at it and say, wow, am I going to lose my fingers? Within 24 hours, this is my finger. Just look at it. This is it. This is my finger. Within 24 hours, I felt the healing power of God come upon me. True story. It's, this happened to me two weeks ago. True, true story. I felt the healing power of God come upon me. And my fingers were completely healed. No, nothing healed. You will never know that I had an issue with fire two weeks or three weeks ago. That is what God can do for you. As long as you have faith, he will restore you. I had the faith. I was asked, I was saying, why, why would this happen to me? Why would it happen? So I started searching my concept. Why is, why is this happening? But God wanted to show me the power of faith in healing and restoration. I look at my finger. I show people, the people who are concerned. I, I said, Do you, you saw that there and this thing. Do you see any of this thing? Do you see any? It's, it, it, within 24 hours, Everything, everything, dry, nothing, no, no, no blister, nothing. Within 24 hours. That is the faith I want you to have. Because there is a God that can restore you. There is a God that can heal you. I'm asking you to pray this prayer as we conclude. Say, Lord Jesus, you are the healer. You are the restorer. Send your word of healing and restoration to me personally right now. Let me be restored. Let my health be restored. Let my career be restored. Let my marriage be restored. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, you are the restorer. You are the healer. Send your word of restoration to me right now. Let me be restored. Let my marriage be restored. Let my home be restored in Jesus' name. In conclusion, the Bible says in Luke 17, 19, the Passion Translation, Luke 17, 19, Passion Translation. Then Jesus said to the human lying at his feet, arise and go. It was your faith 
that brought you salvation and healing. You see, it was your faith that brought you salvation and healing. So salvation and healing works together. You can be healed perfectly when you are saved. You will enjoy healing when you get saved. This man had an encounter with Jesus. There were 10. He came back and Jesus said, your faith has given you salvation and healing. I want your faith to be stirred up. Are you in pains? Marital pains, financial pains, health pains, and you have spent money like this woman, the story we are discussing, going from one physician to another, or going from one mountain to another, or using one half or the other. Have you done all that and nothing's working? I encourage you to have faith in Jesus. Christianity is real. I'm not talking of hypocrisy. I'm talking of true Christianity, that you come surrendering to Jesus Christ. Christianity is no religious activity. The simplicity of what I'm doing now can heal you. I believe it. I told you about my finger. I've seen people being healed. I've seen a cripple with somebody that is held on the wheelchair, fed it, standing up and walk because of the name of Jesus. It is that faith that is in the name of Jesus that brings healing. So I want you tonight, or any time you listen to the video, video to surrender to Jesus. Come to him. I gave my life to Christ from a Muslim background on the target of October 2005. I have never looked back. Christianity is real. Through this man, Jesus. Could you say after me, Lord Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life in Jesus' name. If you have been saved, if you have confessed that prayer, I rejoice with you. Now you are born again. They will put something on the screen now to show you if you want to speak to us about um, counseling, if you want prayers, it will be on the screen now so that you will be able to get in touch with you and we will pray with you. Remember, you are not safe until you are safe. God bless you. This is your friend, Paul Adelaide, the street evangelist. This is Mohammed Adelaide that is now Paul Adelaide. God touched me and I became a born again believer. And I'm also calling you to Christ to enjoy the so much miracles and peace and joy in Christ. Take it easy. Have a good Christmas. God bless you. Good night.